Hi everyone. Right, I'm just going to show you a tag. Now this is the third time I've tried to video it, so if it doesn't work this time, I'm not showing you it again. <laughs> it just when I go playing it back, it just makes everything so slow. So I'm talking and nothing's happening, and then I'll talk about one thing and you'll see it five minutes later. So um, let's try again. Right, I've made this tag, and um, I've only just completed it. Made it tonight from scratch. And what I've done is I've cut the chipboard because I buy in uh, don't buy it I get it in sheets remember so I cut out what I need, and I've covered it in this um, paper, which was a handwritten paper. Then I've used the Tim Holtz walnut stain to go around the edges, and then I've gently with a sponge dabbed it on the ink and then brushed it inwards into the tag, um, and brought it in and then gone out again and in and then back in again, uh, just to give it a bit of colour to the tag and age it. And then what I've done is I've put the coffee coloured uh, tassel on and then added above that the white, well it's an off-white scalloped tass um, lace and then I've edged that in green metallic pen. And then what I've done with the picture, which is a Gibbs girl, one of the Gibbs girls, I've done the edging in the... Um, see, uh, yeah, in the edging with the seashell, versa uh, the versicolor seashell. And then I've used the versicolor again, but in the topaz colour to colour the hair. And I've only done it using a sponge. I've added, I cut one of these tassels off, you know, one of these scallops. And I split the paper, split the picture between the neck and the hair. And then took that in and glued it at the back. And then coloured that in green metallic as well. To make it look like she had a high collar on. A fashion of the day and then added a green silk flower I've added some prima bling that the one with it's it's chocolate brown and cream but it's got roses with it so all I've done with those is edged them in uh, green metallic I've put the uh, peacock feathers in just slip them on before I put the picture on and then I use one of the roses that Debbie gave me and edged that in green metallic as well but underneath that I uh, used the damask stamp that um, Sean's gave me you can just see it there, and then bronzed, embossed it. A few more uh, bits of uh, uh, Prima Pearl with another rose, and uh, and then put some fibres on, which was the lovely chocolate brown one that everybody likes. And then I used the other fibres, which are what Roxy gave me. And, um, and that's it. That's the uh, tag. What I like about the tag is the way that I would manage to get this done because it just makes it a little bit more interesting for the picture because it's just the head and um, it, it's come out really well. The way it's, it look, looks like she's got a high collar and then coloured the hair because it was a black and white picture and I thought mm, I don't want black and white I'm going to change it as I do and um, so I do like that. Now that hasn't taken me long to do and um, because I had it in my head what I wanted to do first and when you do that it's a lot easier to just get on and as long as you've got the equipment obviously and um, but there's various ways I could have done the tag um, but uh, I like the way this one's turned out so I'm just going to show you close up okay There you go. And that's the tag for today. Thanks very much, ladies. See you soon. Bye.